What is something that is considered kindness but is just basic human decency? Letting sick employees take time off, especially in the service industry. Many times I would show up to work and see someone serving food sick as hell all jacked up on Dayquil but couldn't take time off because we were short-staffed. I used to work in food service and didn't take sick days off because I needed the money and everyone would give you shit for it. I agree and it's also a food safety violation in most places. At my old job I would always cover shifts for people that were sick, yet whenever I was sick no one was willing to cover mine. It is complete shit that employees are expected to find someone to cover shifts when they get sick shouldn't that be the business owner's responsibility? What the duck else are they doing if they aren't managing their own workforce? Can't believe this dude died without finding someone to cover his shift, talk about irresponsible. Oh my god. My first job, one of the older ladies had a stroke and was in the air. She still tried to call on it our manager wanted her to find a replacement. Dystopian bullshit, table for one. Bringing things to lost and found at events. Just being polite to people in general. I've worked in the service industry and the education system and it never ceases to amaze me how rude people can be. I've been on the internet and I'm still amazed at how rude people can be. There are some people who just jump to anger super quickly. I went camping a few years ago with a bunch of people. While I was playing guitar this one guy over and over again kept telling me how good of a match I'd be for his sister. He wasn't happy she was dating a guy 10 years older than her and was telling me all about it while I just smiled and didn't pay much attention to him while I picked a few chords. I thought the whole situation was hilarious so after he left me alone I put my guitar down and went to go tell my brother about it. The guy overheard bits and pieces and knew I was talking about his sister and assumed I must be talking shit about her. Suddenly he yelled the duck are you saying about my sister and held my guitar above the fireplace threatening to throw it in. Bunch of people leveled him, didn't blow up past that. Some people are just going to assume the worst in everyone and react accordingly. His sister could be perfect for me and I still wouldn't date her just at the prospect of him being a potential brother-in-law. Edit, I just figured I should add since this has so much attention, it didn't take him long to apologize for acting like an ass. He was so embarrassed for what he did he had a few tears and hugged me. Picking up their rubbish in public and putting it in the bin. Legit. Just not littering. Edit, this now makes up almost a third of my karma. Amazing. While I was out yesterday I saw a kid drop his disposable mask. His mom told him to pick it up he said it's fine he has another in his pocket, and they just left it on the ground. Mind-boggling. I can't even imagine being so entitled. There's a woman that comes in to get gas where I work at least once a week. She always throws her trash out the window before she drives away. Last month I was doing the trash at the pumps when she pulled up, I was so irritated at her that I stood there and stared at her the whole time. She kept looking over at me as she got her gas and after a bit someone who I think is her son got out of the car and asked why I was watching. I just told him I was waiting to clean up her trash after she litters. He looked at me just went okay and got back in the car. She left without littering and hasn't done it since. Being polite to retail and service workers. No idea how someone could just be openly rude to a complete stranger who's just doing their job but it's tragically common. Being patient with people. I'm not very good at it, but I'm trying because in my mind that's how to human 101. Trying to be a better human is part of human 101. Keep trying. We're not perfect. Being respectful to people who are service workers, retail food. You should be calm and respecting to a waiter after a mistake for example, it's basic human decency. Waiting your turn in line. Cleaning up after yourself after eating at a fast food place, don't leave your bags and trash scattered all over the table FFS. Saying sorry or apologizing when causing inconvenience. Not littering. Also, picking up after yourself. Letting people choose if they wish to disclose certain information to others or not, and respecting their decision either way. Being responsible for the kids you chose to create. Not being a dick to shop workers. Returning a shopping cart. My first job when I was 13 was carts and I had to walk to other stores parking lots to get our carts back lol. For me it was 16. We even had carts that had wheels that locked when you got too far. But somehow people still pushed past into other store parking lots. Do your goddamn job? so other people don't have to do their job plus yours. 
Yes, Yvette, I am talking to you, lazy twat. Yeah, duck Yvette. All my homies hate Yvette. Flushing the toilet after you take a fat goddamn shit flush your f hash king crap you unholy pieces of sh hash ts. Deshgustin. Apologizing when you bump into someone on the street. When I first moved to Sydney, Australia I'd turn around to apologize and the person would have just walked off. In the US Midwest we say ope as it happens and move on. Edit, ope, I should have set up her Midwest. And as a couple people pointed out it's ope, sorry. When there is contact. Ope by itself is when it's a near miss, like that turning a corner and almost running into someone. Ope is pretty much a Midwestern apology. It's weird, I keep hearing everyone say it's just a Midwestern thing, but I, a Massachusetts, and everyone I know, in New England, do it too. Upstate New York, we do it too. I used to think it was an old person thing but I'm in my early 20s and I catch myself doing it all the time lol. Helping people clearly struggling in the street. Especially if they are old, it's almost instinct for me to just help someone pick up their stuff if they drop it in public edit. Um these replies about what dicks people were made me really sad d, sorry humanity failed you all in this moment. Before this guy I worked with got to know me we were talking. Someone nearby dropped a couple quarters and I went over, picked them up and chased the person down who dropped them to return the change. My coworker admitted he thought I was just going to keep the change and was delighted that I returned it. He meant it as a compliment but I honestly felt a little insulted. I know that feeling. I found a wallet sitting in a parking lot while I was out one time and went to ask the people in the nearest shop if they had seen the dude on the id. When I said I'd leave my name and number in case they came back the employees acted a little surprised that I was actually trying to get it back to the guy and said something to the effect of most people would just keep it, which is part of why I kept it on me instead of trusting them to do it. Part of me was a little offended they thought for a moment I wasn't going to try and get the wallet back to its owner. It just seems like a basic responsibility to me. Ultimately the guy actually did call me near the end of the day and I got him his wallet back. Even if he didn't call me, which is what I had expected, in the US you can just tape the id in the wallet to the front of the wallet and drop it in any mailbox and it'll be delivered straight to the address on the id without needing a stamp or payment of any kind. In the US you can just tape the id in the wallet to the front of the wallet and drop it in any mailbox and it'll be delivered straight to the address on the id without needing a stamp or payment of any kind. That's insanely cool. Upon googling it does say you need to put it in a blue usps box so that people can't steal it, don't know if that means it wouldn't work if you wait for the mail guy to come and give it him directly though. Defending someone getting bullied. Especially if they have disabilities. Something everyone should do but sometimes let it happen. I did that as a kid, and the only result was that I became the target instead. Even the kids I defended started giving me shit because that became the cool thing to do and they saw a chance to fit in. Couldn't get it resolved even when my parents found out, was unable to transfer schools, and I ended up stuck in that situation until I got to high school. Damn that sucks, what a painful lesson. In not mocking, real question, do you regret? Not the op, but my story was almost exactly like his. It really depends what mood him and when I think about it. When him angrier I regret it completely because of how it ruined the kid I was and made me into a worse version of myself, which I still am in a lot of ways. Sometimes when I'm in a better mood I don't regret it as I helped a kid and in a perverse way helped him fit in. It's confusing. I don't know if this will make you feel any better or not but I had an opposite experience. I knew a kid in high school that I witnessed getting bullied like right in front of me multiple times. After high school I heard that he killed himself. I don't blame myself or anything, I'm sure there was a lot going on there, but I forever regret not sticking up for him. I saw his sister posting on his Facebook afterwards about how she misses him. It still makes me tear up sometimes when it randomly pops into my head. I just hope I have the courage to step in if I ever see something like that in the future. What you did take strength, even if it cost you something. I hope you have a good one.